guys, it's Jessica and you're watching Working Girl Dishes. Today's video is going to be a summer wedding makeup look. It is the look that I'm wearing right now. So very glowy, tons of highlight, a nice orangey bronze sunset eye look, and then this beautiful coral bright lip. So when I go to weddings in the summertime, I want to look bright and fresh and glowy. So that is what I try to focus on today. I hope you guys like this look and enjoy it. Today's video is actually a collaboration with two other YouTubers. One is Kezi from Kezi's Corner, and then the other is Christina from Christina Renee. So they both have beauty lifestyle channels and they do a ton of fun things. I will link their channels and videos down below. They're both doing summer inspired looks, so definitely go check them out. If you're coming over from either of their channels, hello, my name is Jessica. I do lifestyle videos, cooking, beauty, vlogging, all kinds of fun things. So thank you for coming on over from their channels to check mine out. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will link it right here. And then I will list all the products that I use down in that description box as well, as well as the other girls' videos, of course. So if you're interested in getting this glowy, beautiful wedding makeup look, keep on watching. So I decided to start with my eyes first, so I just went ahead and primed them with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and Candlelight Eyeshadow Primer. So I just put that all over both of my lids. And then I took the Morphe 12 Natural Beauty Palette. I love this palette. And I took this light shade up on the top to build kind of a base color just all over my eyelid. And then I went in with a little bit of a darker, like kind of rose gold color and put that all over my eyelid to just build up some color. And then with a fluffy crease brush, I took this orangey brown beautiful shade, it's my favorite shade in the palette, and just buffed that into my crease all over. So just with windshield wiper motions. And then I just took a clean fluffy brush and blended that in. And then I took a little bit of this darker bronzy shade and took my same crease brush and just put it right in the outer third of the eye, just right in the crease there on the outer edge just to kind of build some depth and make it look pretty. And then I took that fluffy brush again and blend and blend. And then I took my eyeshadow brush and took a facial mist and just kind of wet it a little bit and went in with this gold color just on the inner third of the eye just to kind of brighten up that area. And then I took that gorgeous orange shade and just blended that into the bottom lash line just to kind of make a smoky effect. And then our eyes are all done. I went ahead and took a little facial wipe and just cleaned underneath the eyes to get rid of any fallout that happened. And then I'm just filling in my eyebrows with this new brow cream that I got from e.l.f. I just take a little angled brush and fill in my brows. I really like this cream. It's a little bit yellow for my eyebrows, but it blends really well and it's very easy to work with. All right, time to move on to the face. So on my clean face, I added some Too Faced Prime and Poreless Pure Primer. So I just kind of pressed that into my skin in my T-zone area, so around my nose, forehead, chin, and just kind of press that into the skin to get rid of any pores. And then I take my True Match Lumi Foundation. I love this foundation. It just makes your skin so glowy, and I love the color. And I just took my Real Techniques brush and kind of stippled and blended that into the skin. And when you're blending your foundation in, just make sure you go down the neck and around the ears to make it seamless and pretty. And then I took my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and put that under my eyes and a little bit on my chin too, just to combat some redness that I get there. And I blended that in with my same foundation brush. This is my little baby hula bronzer that I have. It's so cute. I'm just blending that in with a big fluffy brush where you would normally put bronzer. So I'm going on my cheeks, around the outsides of my face on my forehead, down the jawline a little bit, just to give me a nice bronzy glow. After I'm all bronzed up, I took my little cargo blush. I got this in my birch box last month, so I just took a little bit of that pink shade onto the apples of my cheeks, and I think it's a great combo with the bronzer. It just makes you look super glowy. 
All right, time to highlight my favorite part. So I'm taking these two different shades from the NYX Strobe of Genius palette. One's a champagne and one is a little bit of a bronze. And I blended the two together and put them onto my cheekbone. So I am like so happy with that highlight as you can see there. <laughs> so I put that onto my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, just wherever I want to glow. All right, and then I took my L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt Mascara. I'm still obsessed with this mascara. It just gives you voluminous, separated, beautiful lashes. I went ahead and applied that to the tops and bottom lashes. And this mascara is great for summertime. It does not fade or get underneath your eyes. It's perfect. And then I just went ahead and brushed through my eyebrows to give them a little bit more structure. And then I took a nice fluffy brush and buffed my bronzer, blush, and highlight together. And then I applied my Too Faced lipstick in the color Coral Fire. I love this lipstick. It feels like a lip balm on the lips and the color is just gorgeous. And here is the finished look. Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right It feels right yeah, I can only say Thank you so much for watching And I'll see you next week Bye guys I can only say that it feels right